after learning the basics of Python, how do you get started with real projects, working on real programming projects? I'm sure that's a question that a lot of beginners ask themselves. And I was asked this question by debater or newsletter subscriber. So let's talk about that for the next couple of minutes. Um, what I would do once you have mastered or you know get gotten comfortable with the basics of Python, meaning the syntax, how to install packages, um, how to run your programs, how to bug check your programs and all of these things, meaning you can actually bring some value to the world with your pro programs and solve real problems that people have, how do you take the next step? Um, I think a critical part here is to realize that when you have some programming skills, you actually have a really, really powerful ability. And you can take that ability to go out and solve problems for other people. And that can make it a very rewarding uh, thing to do. And it can be a great thing for you to help build up your skills. So for example, what you could do if you don't feel comfortable yet applying for jobs or doing paid work, just to go out and see who you can help with your with your programming work, right? And it could be, I don't know, helping your neighbor um, doing some some data crunching, you know, with his outside weather station. And that's probably a stupid example. But maybe it's something, you know, at your existing or current place of work, maybe there's a colleague you can help automate some of his tasks or her tasks. Maybe there's something uh, that you can apply in your own life. And maybe you can swap out a spreadsheet for a little web application, or just for a little script that does some number crunching. So there's opportunities for software to provide a lot of value everywhere you go. Um, I, I totally believe that and I see it every single day. And if you can leverage your ability to program to uh, to solve other people's problems, it uh, it's going to be a great thing for your skills as well. And it's going to help you a lot becoming a better programmer, becoming more confident in your abilities, and feeling comfortable to to take on paid work, feeling ready to charge money for the skills that you can bring to the table and the value that you can create. So that will be one thing you can do. You know, you can. Go out, seek out people you can help in person by writing little programs for them or scratch your own itch, write programs for yourself. Another thing you can do, and this is sort of dabbling into freelance work, is you can sign up for platforms like Upwork.com and actually offer your services as a freelancer. And a lot of times people there are looking for someone to write them a little web scraper script or uh, you know to uh, to write some conversion program, and your programming abilities can be a very very helpful asset on a platform like that. Now, granted, for the most part, you're not going to make a ton of money because um, these are not like highly specialized skills, and um, there's a difference between you know doing uh, writing a web scraper and doing some. Um, number crunching or some transformation versus building someone a full-blown web application, you know, as part of some startup company. Now, you can still provide a lot of value, but it's kind of hard to really get a contract that way that uh, pays a ton of money or that's a long-term consulting engagement, but it could still be very, very valuable work. It could be a great way for you to build your portfolio. So this could be another option going to platforms like Upwork, just posting an ad on Craigslist offering your services. And, and then you got to know, you know, where, where you are on the spectrum, like are, how comfortable are you taking on larger contracts, maybe uh, compared to just, you know, an, an hour or two or three hours worth of work. But this is certainly something where you can dabble into and get your feet wet. And um, well, another option would be if you're not interested in doing paid work, another option would be to contribute to open source projects. Maybe you can go out and seek out some existing open source projects and um, see if you can make a useful contribution. And that could be something small, like updating the help documentation, making a small fix to the project website and stuff like that. But this is certainly something where you can also grow into taking on more responsibility and actually doing programming work that affects the real world and that is working collaboratively with other people. So I laid out a couple of strategies in this video that you can use and hopefully that will help you on your journey to um, you know where to go next after learning the basics of Python. If you have a question like that that relates to Python and software development, 
leave a comment below and I'll try and tackle it in one of the next videos in this series.